have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. I will follow, no turning back, no turning back. Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. Hello my friends, this is R. Joshua Collins. I hope that video blessed you. If you like, please join one of my Facebook groups, either Homeless Advocates for Christ or Christian Music by R. Joshua Collins. Either one you can join. And you can also email me at servingjesus99212 at yahoo.com with any questions or uh, anything like that. And i also like to read a scripture for you, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9-11. through 11. It tells us, Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, that's those having sex outside of wedlock, nor idolaters, that's including people like the Muslims and the Buddhists and people that worship other gods, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So that tells us that once you give your life to Christ, you die on the cross for us, you get forgiveness. You're washed in the blood of Jesus. He shed his blood for us. And you're sanctified. And there's hope for you. You're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus by the Spirit of our God. So there's hope for you. But if you have not given your life to Jesus and turned from your sins, well, the wrath of God still abides upon you. It says here that uh, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. So... I encourage you to give your life to Jesus if you haven't already. Receive his forgiveness, eternal life. That's what we all uh, need. And, and it's a free gift, free gift by grace. You know, by faith in Christ, you can receive you know, this blessing of eternal life. And I, I hope you will choose to do that. And if you'd like, uh, please come to Grace Bible Church. That's the church that I go to. I'm on the worship team uh, here in Anaheim, 2550 uh, West Orange Avenue is where I'm at, and 10.30 a.m. is when the service is on Sundays, and 9 a.m. there's a Bible study, and you can come join us, and please share this video to encourage others to give their life to Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, the Bible says that uh, those that believe and are baptized will be saved, those that don't believe will be condemned. Now, baptism doesn't save you, it's just uh, something that the Bible tells us to do, though is to be baptized, to believe in Christ, and to follow Him. And if you haven't chosen to do that, um, you know, I encourage you to do that, because you might not have tomorrow. Today could be the last day of your life. And then it's heaven or hell. And there's definitely a hell, and, and I want as many people in the kingdom as possible. So I encourage you to turn to Jesus. Don't follow Satan. That, that's, that's my prayer for you. So uh, thanks so much for your prayers and support. Um, please pray that this uh, video will reach many people 
that many will come to Christ through it, and uh, as well as my other videos that I, I have on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, thanks so much for your prayers and support. Again, uh, hope to hear from you soon. May God bless. Bye. Thank you. My name is R. Joshua Collins, and um, I'd just like to read a scripture, uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Uh, tells us, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. As, and that's what some of you were, but you were washed, you were sanctified. And you're justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And I read that because I think really it's a spiritual problem that we have in Anaheim. You know, if we, if we put God first, everything is going to fall into place. And I found some great quotes from Helen Keller and what she said. Uh, the majority of mankind is ground down by industrial oppression in order that the small remnant may live in ease. And she also said, it's a terrible thing to see and have no vision. And those were two powerful statements from a woman that couldn't see physically, but she obviously could see spiritually uh, the world around her. And I think um, mayor and council, if we could sit down and, and talk about solutions, that'd be great. You asked uh, for some models. I have some models at Placerville and El Dorado County and other places that they have models for tent cities and things like that. So I can show you the videos and you know, talk about it. And I think you really need to have people that are boots on the ground on this issue with you in these meetings and dealing with the situation. You know, because if you're not working with people that are with the homeless all the time, you know, you're not going to get a full picture of what's happening out there. And thankfully they stopped that ordinance, but of course, like uh, that was just said, Lou and I are arrested. And I think, I'm thankful that uh, the no charges have been filed officially, according to Michael Houston. And I hope that that, that remains the case. Because obviously out of my video you can tell I wasn't breaking the law. and. Lou is just trying to fight for the homeless and their rights too in filming. So um, if you want to see the video, those of you who haven't seen it, go to YouTube and just R. Joshua Collins, arrested by an IMPD. You can see it's about a 40 second clip and I was far away from the cop and he had me arrested. So that's treason. You know, that, I'm kidnapped and Sergeant Boyer is the one that had me arrested. Now, that's like a felony to kidnap somebody. Is anything going to happen to him? Will there be any discipline? I, I, I would hope something would be done. And if he will do that while I'm videotaping, what happens when people aren't videotaping him? What is he going to do? You know, that's pretty creepy. And there's a lot of other cops, of course, that were taking homeless people's belongings, but thankfully that has been suspended. So uh, a lot of work needs to be done still. And, and again, I encourage you to get people that are boots on the ground involved in helping and, and meeting together. Like you say, you want to sit down with people, that kind of thing. Do that. And don't just give lip service to it. Or, you know, it's, it's like it, it makes you a hypocrite. When you want to say this is a city of kindness and you're not really working to make that happen, you know, and people come in here week after week and then we're getting arrested and, and nothing's, you know, nothing's happening. So we can go forward or backwards. Thanks for your time. Take what you have on your back 
and what you can carry, you're gone. I lost everything. My furniture, my clothes, everything. My dignity, I lost it all. I have been trying to call numbers for two hours today to find me shelter. No one would help me. We're too full. We only help women and children. I get that. But I paid my dues for the city. We elected you. What are you going to do about it? What the hell did we elect you for? This is ugly. People are freezing. People are dying out there. I'm just homeless for a short time. But at uh, three days, it scares the living hell out of me. I can't sleep in a bed, or I can sleep in a chair, because my back is broken, and my pelvic is broken. I have this walker to get around, having to get to the bathroom, to my shower. This is my legs. This is my legs. So I beg you to help us, help the kids, the women, the men. We, a lot of people want to be there, but I don't. I, I don't want to be in the rain. I want to have the sprinklers turned on me anymore. This gentleman came helping me, took me out of a heart, gave me a place to sleep. And Mr. Long, sir, thank you. Your time is up. Thank you. We're going to frisk this guy, Sergeant Boyer. Come here. Yeah. I told you for the last time. What? You've walked through all the trucks. You've serpentined your way through. You're not allowed to do that. Turn around and put I, your hands behind your back. For what? Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I've told you for the last time. You've walked through all the trucks. Turn around put your hands behind your back. You didn't tell me how close to be. Can you take his cell phone? I told you that you can't be impeding. You know, they should I wasn't impeding. I told you you cannot impede your way investigation. I didn't impede your And you can't take, you can't do that while we're trying. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, no turning back. No turning back, no turning 